Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, August the 17th, and it's 10.02 a.m. And I just tried to uh, convert a, a short little video by Edward Umling. He's, he gets these short words from the Lord, and he just belts them out. That's it. No nonsense. He doesn't add anything to it. Well, this one's 36 seconds long. I tried to convert it and just mirror it on my channel. Because I'm still dealing with this cough and stuff. <coughs> See, I don't have to talk long and it, it'll start. So I'm, I'm trying to breathe shallow. Anyway, <coughs> I'm just going to play it. And you listen to it and... Uh, he's, he's, they're just very powerful words. That's all I have to say about that. All right, so let me pull him forward. And he's an older gentleman. I had not heard of him until, oh, I guess two weeks ago or so. I'm not sure that I shared any of his videos yet. So anyway, here it goes. It's called Prepare, Prepare, Prepare. Hear me now, oh, my son. Prepare for change in government. Prepare for change in leadership. Prepare, O oh my saints, for change in your country. Prepare, O oh saints, for persecution. Prepare, O oh saints, for mourning and weeping. And prepare, O oh saints, for joy and gladness. For your redemption comes quickly. Prepare, 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 says the Lord. My reward is with me, says your God. And that's it. So, um, I'm not sure if that is for the first rounders, second rounders, both of us. Um, I know that those who don't go in the first round will, will be back, will be helping them. We helping everybody get completely ready to go because nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of heaven, which is why so many are not ready. They're not repenting, you know, saying, Lord, I'm sorry. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. They're just letting their little sins just build up and build up. They may believe in once saved, always saved. They may... Um, still have demonic in, demons in them not that they're possessed but demonized and it's causing them to have these habitual habitual sins that they don't even recognize or repent of because the demon has them blinded in that area so they need deliverance and a lot of people need heart healing so they can forgive, truly, truly forgive the people that have hurt them. They're still, they still have holes in their heart, so to speak. Spots that need healing. Okay, so anyway, we'll be helping people, bringing them back from the dead, I know. I was just reading my journal yesterday, trying to find my message from the Lord about the two raptures. I mean, I can listen to the video, but I wanted to see it in writing. And I was just reading them and reading them and reading them. And one talked about, um, oh, Lord, help me. There we go again. I just said it. Um, oh, about bringing people back from the dead and how we'll be healing them and getting them saved there's people who aren't even saved yet that will come along because they're going to see you know their babies were taken or maybe their pets were taken see the lord knows who's going to end up in heaven i don't know that every pet on earth is going to go to be honest if you if there's people that god knows they're going to take the mark of the beast. They're not going to go anyway. Maybe their pets don't go. Not every animal got put on the ark. 
remember. He spared enough to repopulate the, the earth with animals, but he didn't save them all. But now that's just thing something that I have wondered if these really mean possibly demonized dogs that have been trained to protect drug dealers and those kind of people you know what I'm talking about are they gonna go to heaven if so the demons in them would be left behind and they would be turned into beautiful loving content animals that would not attack anybody we know that so but still if their owner isn't going to be up there then they wouldn't need to have their pet with them up there maybe their pet will be with them in hell tearing them apart because they ordered the dog to tear people apart you see what i'm saying that's just thought i've had you can leave your own opinion on that if you want because that's just my opinion i just wonder if every single animal gets taken but i think if for sure if god knows you're going to make it to heaven whether the first rapture or the second your pets are going so the point is those left behind after the days of darkness he told me there will be a time of thick utter darkness he's told other people three days of darkness so I'm I'm believing it's three days of thick utter darkness and that's evidently from what I have been learning is from this planetary thing they've been hiding that's gonna cross over the Sun between our planet and the Sun now we know that God has that all in his control. Now, I just listened to a guy on Marfugel who was a little weird. It was like he knows God Almighty created heaven and earth, but he said there's a second God, and I think he means Satan, but he wouldn't come out and he said he goes by many names. But he wouldn't come out and say who. And he says that we should never say amen after our prayers. Amen. Because that is praying to that God. I'm like, oh brother. So right away I did a Strong's Concordant search on the word amen. Amen. I always say amen. Some people say amen. They mean the same thing. The word means I agree or um, anyway you can look it up it's in the Strong's it is a biblical word it does not mean you're praying to some other God but anyway the guy was saying how he knew he was supposed to stay off the coasts well we already know you know the coasts are going from this thing coming to the coming to the earth this planetary object it's going to cause such tornado uh, earthquakes volcanoes the fault lines are going to split apart the country's going to split apart and um, well anyway I'd, I I wasn't real sure about sharing what he had to say but he may be right on but is reluctant to say a lot of things and certainly isn't right about saying amen that part was wrong so I thought I'm just not going to share it anyway I'm rambling now I'm uh, I'm still battling this cough deal and I think the breathing treatments are causing me to have some abnormal movements in my sleep so I'm just staying tired and I'm resting a lot and I don't hurt so um, that's why I'm not putting up a lot of videos and I'm mirroring some to at least bring you something that would you know give you hope and encouragement know this that the bride of Christ is only going to be here for seconds
compared to eternity to see if we see anything at all it won't be much we'll be protected and we're out of here then we'll get our armor and our instructions we'll only be with the Lord a, a little bit and be sent back and it, it as much as I would like to just stay in heaven that's my tired body speaking I know I'm going to have this brand new body with all the energy I'm going to need and it'll be a pleasure to serve the Lord to help bring in the wheat harvest won't it brothers and sisters and and then we'll all we'll end up going back to heaven we come with Jesus in the clouds and then they meet then the dead in Christ rise then those who are alive and remain will meet the Lord in the air and it says them and I'll have to look that up I, I can't remember it's not in that verse but it talks about meeting them in the air that's the bride of Christ and Jesus okay um, I wasn't even planning to go all into all this but um, so I didn't have a scripture pulled up but I can't remember now which one it was so um, I'm probably going to take a nap and I'll end up forgetting all about it but you you could do some research and find it for me that would be wonderful and put it in the comments and I can link it to the top you know whatever you, pin it pin it to the top is what they call it okay all right so with that, I'll let you go. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Oh, there's so much I want to tell you. There's so much, so many videos I want to share. I pray God, please give me the energy that I need. And remember to pick out the very best ones and share them when I get up. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. With that, I'll say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, um, and myself, my computer, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And keep looking up, no matter what it looks like, you keep looking up, because our redemption draws nigh. Don't let the bad-sounding prophecies get you scared, because that's for the second rounders. The weed harvest. They have to go through some tribulation now. Because they've been living in the world and they're not ready. They're not loving Jesus most. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You have to want the Holy Spirit. People don't want the Holy Spirit. They're, it's their church's fault. But they have a Bible. So they are without excuse. It's in the Word of God. And if they would bother to pray to the Holy Spirit, help them understand the word, they would understand it better. Parables like the parable of the ten virgins, they would understand those better. So they really are without excuse. Just because their pastor tells them or doesn't bother to mention much about the Holy Spirit, other than when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove. And, you know, and he doesn't say a whole lot else. And, you know what I'm saying? They're just, they don't invite the Holy Spirit. They don't believe in the gifts. They don't believe in the baptism and the speaking in tongues and all like that. And so, people are left handicapped. There's so many in the church that are handicapped. That's, that's a good word. They're handicapped. Because they're lacking one-third of God. They may get a portion of them when they're saved and baptized, but they don't have the complete infilling. So they don't have the gifts. They don't have the wisdom, the understanding. They need all that. So then we'll help them with that. We will. And there will be revivals and revival fires everywhere, along with the fires from falling asteroid pieces and, and the heat causing fires and whatever man-made fires there are I mean there are going to be fires anyway I'll let you go with that I'll talk to you later